Hey guys, we are here for Kel's Kitchen. We are making, here, hold on, let's see the picture. We are making the Mexican lasagna, and I've also added, I'm going to add some ingredients to it as well, and I'll show you those um, right now. Oh my god, what the, f my cat like attacked me. What is the meaning of that? Why did you do this? What the hell? Why is this, why is there an angry bird in my kitchen? All right, I'm not gonna ask questions. I have no idea why that's there. Um, I blame the cat. All right, so the ingredients I was gonna add was some guac, there's avocado, some guac mix, just really quick, and refried beans. I wanted those, and yeah. Now let's get to the actual ingredients that came with Home Chef. And Home Chef, let me explain, it is, they basically send you a box of food, and uh, it, it has all the ingredients, as you can see, pretty much, like, you have to cut the vegetables, obviously, but everything's, like, you know, all the ingredients are laid out easy for you. And they give you the recipe. They're pretty easy to do. All of mine were 30 minutes to prepare, so pretty quick. Um, I believe the 824 calories is, um, I'm not sure if that's per serving or for both servings, because these are two servings. If it's one serving, ouch, <laughs> I'm not going to eat the rest of the day, um, but it's, if it's one serving, that's pretty good. So anyways, yeah. Oh, and the tortillas, I almost forgot to show you guys the tortillas. Actually, I'm show you, here's the cheese, here's sour cream, cilantro, and radishes. I'm not sure if I'm going to use, I don't like cilantro, it's just that one um, seasoning I'm just not a fan of, and, um, or herb, sorry, <laughs> taco seasoning. Uh, taco sauce, that taco sauce, and the tomato, and lime. I was considering using the lime for the guac, um, make my own guac, but then I was like, no, I don't want to do it. I'm lazy, I'll use the pre-mix, and then that's going to go in the actual um, beef. And then the uh, red chili and jalapeno, and I actually messed up. So I had unboxed this, and then I left the beef out like for quite a while, and so I had to thaw my own beef, so normally there would be a beef here, you know, not with the vegetables so it doesn't contaminate it, um, but I um, thawed that. It's not over here. Those are just what I'm using. So um, let's get started. Well, I want to show you these ingredients first, and then I can talk to you about Home Chef now. So they basically send you a box. It's a subscription service, so you guys know how I do Loot Crate. Um, it's like that, only it's food, and I haven't done Kel's Kitchen in a while just because, like, I hate getting a recipe together and then having to get all the ingredients. I pretty much just throw together whatever's in my fridge when I cook, and, like, as you can see, I just was like, oh, I want to add more things. I have these available. Why not? Like, that's how I cook. I just, like, throw things together, um, but this was pretty cool, and so they sent me a free box, and they get are giving you guys $20 off if you, um, subscribe. I know, like... To get two servings, two meals for two servings is forty dollars. So you would basically pay twenty dollars. Um, again, not everyone can afford that. So I mean, it doesn't matter to me if you guys get this. It's up to you. Um, I think it's pretty cool. I always liked cooking with my parents. So like, I think this could be a cool like, I don't know, like a, a hobby you could do with someone. Um, like your cat, <laughs> your cat, if your cat wants to cook with you, I'd put her up here, but like that's just asking for like cat feces on my food, and I don't want that. And of course, there are boxes with um, more servings, but you're it obviously it costs more money, so that's up to you guys. Um, there is the $20 discount code. Um, they did send me the free box, but this isn't like they paid me to make this video. I kind of want to do it on my own because I haven't done Kel's Kitchen in a while, but I did get the free box, so full disclosure there. I know people like when YouTubers are upfront about that stuff, so yes, I did get I did get free food from Home Chef, and I am very thankful for them for this meal I am about to have. And my cat is too. And my boyfriend is probably like extra happy about it because he gets um, a cooked meal and <laughs> I don't avoid him. No, I'm joking. I cook for Alex a decent amount. Now I think what I'm going to do is pretty much just cut these ingredients um, since Alex is still sleeping. So I <laughs> I don't have someone to hold my camera um, and this, this camera doesn't have like a tripod thing. It's my cell phone camera because... Um, I, my my normal camera that does fit on a tripod is not working and I discovered that today and I was like this is very very inconvenient for the videos I'm about to do so um, we are I'm gonna cut this stuff up I'll try to show you in between has like I mean if I could chop with one hand like 
I would totally do it for you guys, but um, better safe than sorry. I don't want to cut off my uh, hands. So, yeah. And I'm traveling soon, so I don't want to have cuts on my hands. Like, you know, you never know. A bull might jump into my cut. I don't want that. You guys don't want that. Uh, well, maybe some of you do. Like, geez, thanks a lot. First thing, I lightly brushed these with um, olive oil. And we're going to pop these into the oven for about five minutes. And those make those crispy and tasty. Nom, nom, nom. We're starting to cook the ground beef and the refried beans that I've added into the recipe. Um, oh no, we lost one. We lost a friend. Rest in peace. Um, and then, oh shoot, I gotta take out the tortillas. Guys, so we're ready to actually, uh, the, <laughs> for some reason, I don't know if it looks like this, if it's gonna look like this on my, um, uh, like, computer when I'm editing this, but on my phone, the beef looks like white. Oh, that's disturbing. It's not white. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's the, it's the lighting. All right, and here are our tortillas, and I made the guac, and here's like cut up vegetables. I'm not gonna use the radishes or the cilantro, just not my thing. So um, now I'm gonna put these together, and hopefully they turn out pretty. And I'll show you that as soon as I'm done. All right, guys. Here's the first one. And then we'll add the uh, guacamole and sour cream after it's cooked. But I'm gonna show you what I did. So first I added the uh, refried beans. Then I went ahead and added the ground beef. And then we're going to add the taco sauce. Actually, I forgot to add the taco sauce to the top of this. I'm going to do that now. All right, I've added the taco sauce, the jalapeno, the red chili, and the tomato. Now I'm going to add a I'm going to add some cheese. Um, and then I'm going to add the next layer and rinse and repeat. All right, these are done. We're gonna pop these in the oven and uh, I think for five minutes, yeah, for five minutes, we're gonna pop these in the oven, let everything melt together, and then it's ready. <laughs> you guys have no idea how excited I am. Like it's, when you cook a meal and then it's like getting ready to being done, it's like the best feeling ever. These are done, they're looking amazing. I'm gonna plate them now. Um, I have my plates ready and oh my God. Oh my God, I'm so close to eating it, it's unbelievable. All right, guys, as you can see, it's completely finished. There's Alex's with the tomato. Here's mine without the tomato. Oh my God, look at the cheese. Oh my God, we're gonna eat it. We're gonna eat it right now. Right now we're eating this. All right, Alex, I, I brought him this in bed. Are you excited? I'm very excited. I woke up to a Mexican lasagna. I'm going straight into it. I don't know exactly how to handle it. It's like the greatest nacho of all time. Oh, you're <laughs> eating it like that without the fork? I don't know. Fuck it. Oh my god. <laughs> is it good? It is good. Alright, I can't watch you eat this. I need to go eat my own. Mm. <laughs> Alright, tell them goodbye. Bye.